Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful painting by only using Lumino Tolos May palette and don't forget to subscribe if you have to subscribe yet and please don't forget to hit that bell button if you want to know my latest videos in the future Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use so I still will be using Lumino Tolos May palette and I have the titanium white that the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw umbers. I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, and this is um, this is my brushes. So I'll be using, I think, three brushes only. So I'll be using this number 12 nano plus brush, long handle. I also have here the number um, 8 nylon flat brush, long handle. And number 8 nylon flat brush, short handle. And uh, I think I will also use some liner brush, which is the number one liner brush for the details. You can also use zero double zeros and triple zeros. Okay, so those are just the possible brushes that I'm gonna use for this tutorial. Okay, and this is my canvas. It's 10 by 12 inches. It's a three coats of prime white acrylic, and so you can also use gesso. I made it myself. And water to thin the paint water spray if ever we're gonna need to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay and I still serve everyone that I use that my canvas has already um, um, an underpainting or a gray color painting so it's, it's not actually gray it's something like um, the mixture of raw umber and white to make this kind of um, color so it's not actually that gray it's actually a lighter brown so I'll just suggest that you use um, raw umber plus white to make this kind of background color and just paint it over something like that okay so let's start now and I'm going to start it with um, sketching so of course you're gonna sketch and today I'm gonna paint um, a vintage um, old car so it's not uh, it will just be easy tutorial and I'll do my best to make this as realistic as possible okay so I, I downloaded the photo the, the the original photo from Pixabay so I want to say thanks to the owner so here I'll be using the raw umber with some white I'll mix it with white so that it will become lighter and it will be easier for me to cover it with other colors like of course um, something like yellow so here we're gonna mix first so make it a little darker so darker than the background color so that you can still see the sketch you can also use pencil if you want to It's actually an old, old Volkswagen car. I don't know how to how you pronounce it. It's Volkswagen. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start sketching now. So this is gonna be a trial and error method. You try and you get error, and you're gonna try again. That's how you're gonna do the trial and error mode. I'm sorry everyone if there are really some noisy um, background, some music from my neighbors. <laughs> it's actually 2 p.m. here where I painted this one and yeah some neighbors are really loud in their music. So I apologize for that if if that bothers you so much. Hopefully this won't come out on my recordings. Anyway, I'm using a noise cancellation um, headphone. So yeah, do the sketching. It's gonna be a little hard, but yeah, we can do it.
it's gonna be a little tricky because we need to make sure that everything is in is in the right position even if it's not that perfect as long as it will look like um, the proportion is great it's okay that will be good Yeah, something is off so I need to make it a little smaller I should have used a bigger canvas for this one I'm using um, 8 by I think 10 by 8 10 by 12 canvas it's actually way small but the good thing about using small is that I can finish it faster so maybe it's actually good for this one Make sure that everything is perfectly on um, proportion. There is some diamond here in the front. And this will be a really try and error method everyone. So I think it will not be perfectly at first. It won't be perfect at first but yeah. It's a... Uh, we need to be extra careful. Anyway, we can actually change if there's something wrong, we can actually change that. Since we're using acrylic, it's a fast drying paint. So we can change it right away if, if something is terribly wrong. So, even it's not that accurately perfect, as long as the proportion is good, that will be fine. We can accept that. Okay, so I think that will be good so okay so I'm gonna start with the uh, dark tone so I'm using the umber I try to go for some darker parts So everyone, if something is building, you can s you can hear the someone is building out there. It's very noisy, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so here, yeah, this will be the part where you can see the wheels. There, so there will be a wheel side. There you go. And this part here will be some darker tones. Yeah, this will be 
really a trial and error method. I'm not sure how long this will took me take me to finish this painting. So I hope you can still watch it. There. I'm not sure someone is on music. Okay. okay, I'm gonna start um, to color it, to put colors in it, so that I can see where some where parts I'm gonna erase or, yeah. So I think I'm gonna start it with the blue color. No, I think yellow. Sorry. Yeah. So I'll be using this yellow. I'm gonna add a little row number to make it look more um, old and white so instead of pure yellow you can mix it with taro amber to make it look more old yellow with a little red it's not perfect yellow That's a good thing about adding the background colors because you don't have to struggle with the white backgrounds to appear. So that's why I'm adding the background colors first. There. So we're gonna do it little by little, one by one, um, block by block. So here I'm gonna put some lines here, yellow lines. This part should be straight even if this is old. So I apologize if something is being noisy on the background. There are people, buildings repairing their houses on many words and some are actually building homes <laughs> and and having their music too loud I don't know why maybe they want me to 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 hear their music even if I don't like it <laughs> okay so that's it so you're gonna feel it that way so I think I'm gonna do more I'm gonna in, Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retouch it here a little. There. Okay. So I have here the blue and some white so I'm gonna make the side blue actually it's really blue so this part should be blue okay 
So, if something's wrong, you can actually erase it directly, easily. I'm gonna make it as old as possible. So, I'm gonna use the darker colors first. So this part should be a little darker, that's why I add the raw umber and the white, a little white on it and the blue. So this part should be a little darker, yeah, it should be darker than that, blue and the raw umber. Good thing about this is that you can actually retouch it directly. Sorry about if someone is on the roof. It's really nice here. I'm not sure what they're doing out there. Oh, this one is getting good. Getting good. Right. Yeah, so far I love it. So I'm gonna fill this part with a darker color. Raw umber. Yes. And I'm gonna get it some white. Here. So I can have some highlights here. There. And also here. So there are some a little details like this one. I'm gonna put I think I think I'm gonna put some um, background yeah so I'm gonna use some yellow and blue to make some greens and white yeah I'm gonna put it here yeah some random colors of nature backgrounds so, blue so this is not final yet I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a dark background or this one so it's not final yet depending how it will look so maybe I prefer the dark background I guess so we can try the dark background also because our vehicle is light in color so it's very cute to use the darker background
so that we can create a good contrast sorry everyone if there's any noisy on the background sometimes I feel like I need to re I need to change my location I want a quieter one because I don't really like them I don't know what's the purpose of having so loud music that even their neighbors can hear it yeah, loud and very bad music for me there okay yeah I'll just do it that way I'll just focus now on the vehicle okay thank god it's not quite hopefully oh, there's another one <laughs> okay I'm gonna use this number eight flat press now so here I'm gonna have some blue umber and white I'm gonna do a little details now so I'm gonna start with the uh, white here you can actually use the smaller brush there you need to be in control with your hand And then with a tiny few details on the windshield. And this, I'm going to use this yellow and white and Andrew Umber. I'm going to darken this part now. Only this part, yellow. And then I'm going to use some um, raw umber with blue color. So I'm going to cover some parts. I'm going to darken this he here. And then also here, with a little dark color on the windshield. Yeah, just keep on adding some highlights and shadings here. There. Now slowly we're gonna we're gonna cover we're gonna copy the um, details little by little.
So I'm gonna put some a little shadow or sh reflection. Okay. I should do this at night, everyone, so that everyone <laughs> go white. Oh, good. There's people out here, it's really noisy. They don't care about you. So, here I'm using the raw umber and blue. A few details here. So I'll just mark it here. There. Okay. a little and also some dark on the center of the uh, other one the other um, light So I have here some blue and the umber, so I want to create more darker color. I want to darken this part, okay? So I'm gonna make this a little darker using the umber and the red and the blue. Okay, yeah, on this blue part, I'm gonna do some more details. I'm gonna use this color also and some white, make it a little lighter, and another blue. Nah, I, I, I should put more stains on it, more blue and white. Should be darker.
Yes. And this part here. Put some stains or whatever color. I'm gonna add some water and then I'm gonna put more. You can put more stains like brownish or whatever colors you may like but make sure that it has shades of blue Okay, and also here. There. And now I'm gonna put some more stains, like lighter colors or whatever. So I'm gonna add some white. something like that and then also here Yeah, that looks nice. As of now, I'm gonna use a little brownish stone, so I'm gonna use some red and yellow. Plus white to make some brownish tone. So here, I'm gonna add some a tiny of stains of brown to make it, to make it look more dirty. And then on the body part, I'm gonna use this raw umber with white or the gray stone here. Just gonna put more stains. Okay, and one is darker. Yes. 
and also here I'm gonna add some white I know some lighter grayish on the sides that's it and some more umber And then I'm gonna use some lighter color. I'm gonna add some white. Let's put it in the center. So I'll be using a smaller brush now, which is the number one liner brush here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna refine it. There. Using this, you can actually create smaller details. I'm gonna add some white and the red, some yellow. I'm gonna put some highlights here. Some a little stains. Yeah, just some them light colors. I'm gonna use some yellow. There. I'm using again this one. Just gonna create some tiny details to make it look more old yeah that's it yeah so far it looks great I'm oh, sorry everyone if ah it's really nice to have there hope you can still it doesn't bother you the sounds on the background so here I'm gonna use the the white and the raw umber again to create some browns. So I'm gonna put some details like this. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, some parts are still wet. <laughs> Careful with that. I'm actually having a hard time with my with the camera position. Actually, I'm gonna need to make this part clear because I want this to be look more realistic, and I'm gonna do my best if possible. Yeah. Okay. It looks pretty well. And using again the same color, it's lighter. I'm gonna create some tiny details here, some few lines. this part there yeah that looks nice And I'm gonna add some white. I'm gonna need some lighter color. Adding some highlights here. There. And also here. Our highlights will actually pop the color or the the details out. Not just the highlights, but also the the tiny uh, darks. Create contrast. And also here. And uh, some more details here. Okay. And I need some blue and white. This part should be bluish I need to have some darker blue I'm gonna use this one ok 
Okay. One more highlight. There. And yellow. So I'm going to mix yellow with the raw umber. Sorry if I'm not blue, but raw umber. To make it look dark. But I'm gonna I'm gonna blend it more. There. With a little shades of dark. That's it. So we have now the logo. And uh, it looks old. And then I have here some darker colors. I'm gonna put shades here. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some more blue here, something like this. I'm gonna put a clear boundary between here. Then I'm gonna use darker blue. and then I'm gonna use this lighter because I'm gonna extend a little here there Some few details on the back part of the wheel. Some highlights. It is light blue. There. It's now clear. Now I'm gonna uh, focus now on the yellow part. So I'll be using the bigger, a little bigger brush. It's this one. So I'm gonna put some stains, which is the grayest tone here. adding the stains because this actually um, make you feel more um, artistic because of the stains the dirts actually I like I like to put it in here one of the best part
I want that guy. more darker stains put some red and white it's now look more brownish than yellowish I'm gonna add yellow so everyone if the noise outside is really noisy I'm not really sure what are they thinking really sure if you're hearing the, not the background music but I'm gonna put background music also so that the noise won't be as loud as you heard where I am now and I'm not really sure what happened to my neighbors out there they don't just, they just don't care about their neighbors and that's what Filipino are I wish my room soundproof so that you know one I can't hear them. Now I'm gonna build my own studio soon everyone. So I wanna say thank you to all the people who support me, especially my patron. So I wanna thanks to them for always supporting me on my journey. So even if I uh, even if I um I have less videos on my Patreon page. I still want to say thanks to them. I thank you. It's their. I'm going to put a little orange on these stains here. stains up there on the top, the top part okay yeah and I'm gonna use the small brush this one I'm gonna start adding some plenty of highlights and darks so I'm gonna use this white here, mix it with the with our umber. So white, I'm gonna make it a little darker.
Okay. Yeah. And there's another one here. Now I'm gonna start adding some darker tones. So here I'm gonna use some. I'm gonna use this pure umber. I'm gonna divide it here. And then I'm gonna put the the wiper. The other wiper here. So you need to be more irregular on the lines because um, to create more um, realistic look on bit on vintage cars. So I'm gonna use more raw umber and blue to have a darker color. For this part here. And also here. Okay. But yeah. So far it looks great and looks realistic. Yeah, and it's already one hour and so far I love the entire process. So I will start adding some details on the top part. for the background noises I'm gonna put some dried leaves at the part top part of the of the car so first we're gonna put some darker shades okay and now I'm gonna use some red and orange red and yellow There, we need some rumber. Yeah, so we're gonna use some dark browns first before we're gonna put some lighter colors. So we're gonna put dark darks first before the light. Wiper, wiper.
yeah yeah that looks nice I'm gonna add some yellow and white as the highlights of this one So just put it on the top of the brown uh, when you when you okay Okay, yeah. I think that looks like leaves on the top of the car. I mean, I love it. There's still some details I'm gonna put. So I'm gonna use this white. I'm gonna put it on the top of the car. like a line here I'm gonna make this part lighter and also here Yeah, the lines, the the colors, the highlights should be a little regular, irregular, not regular, to make it look more um, old. Yeah, I think we're gonna love it. And here, some white, some. Lighter browns. So I'm going to put more stains on the yellow part. I'm going to make this part more curved. And then I'm going to use some Darker colors. There. Yeah. Now it's much more clear. Yeah, it's already one hour, and yeah, I'm almost done. I'm not sure if I am almost done or I'm very far from the truth. <laughs> okay, so continue. I'm gonna do this part now. So I'm gonna mix this 
Row on bar with some red and yellow. I'm gonna do the bumper. It should be more brownish. Oh my god, they are now. Oh, I don't know the sounds. And also some details here. I think it's the it's the light. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna add some white. Okay, so I'm gonna use a darker blue. So, umber and blue. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, I stuck careful. Then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna divide. Using the dark colors, and then a little tiny details here. I think I need to have a darker, almost look like black. So I'm gonna mix the umber and the blue. So I'm going to make it darker. Yes. Yeah, it looks nice. There. 
Yes. And then I'm going to use some blue stone here. Blue plus romber. So yeah, just a little bluish for the for the tire. And it should be darker. So I'm gonna need, need some more brown here because I'm gonna put some stains of browns on this part. Some stains and rust. And then I'm gonna use this rusty color which is brown or reddish brown. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put more rust rusty color by using some you can actually use orange or um, brownish orange or red orange something like that to actually create more rusty color or effect oh my god they are really nice in their music out there Okay. So I'm gonna add some white and yellow. I'm gonna put a little highlights for this one. So don't make it too smooth, it should be um, look more um, old and rusty. I'm gonna make it a rusty look as possible here. There. Yeah. So I'm now actually I'm almost almost done everyone so I think we're gonna focus now on the backgrounds. Yeah, I'm gonna black. I'm gonna darken the background so that I can create contrast between the vehicle and the background. So I'm gonna light darken the one. I think we're gonna use the bigger brush now. So yeah. it will actually look like a dark forest. So blue. 
and the row number and also some dark green so yellow and blue I'm gonna change to a smaller brush. So yellow and blue color. More blue. Using the dark background will actually create a more contrast color or effect to the vehicle. So we can use dark greens, the darker yellow. Yeah, about that. Now you can now see clearly the color of the vehicle because of the dark back background. I want darker, so I'm gonna use. can create some trees or trunks yeah just make it don't make it too obvious yeah that looks great and it's almost uh, 1 hour and 30 minutes and actually I am relieved because yeah, for me, this really look great. So here, I'm gonna put darker colors on the ground. Okay, so I want more. Now you can add a little water to make it wet. Then I'm gonna add 
some greens, yellow and blue, and white. There, just use the topping. You can actually use the smaller brush. There are plants that growing on the wheels. There, just use the topping. This is now a wet and wet technique because the background is still wet. What I like about um, using this um, wet and wet technique because um, the colors will mix up with the background and it will create uh, smoother colors. There, I know I'm gonna put some browns, some dried leaves. So, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna use again the, the red and the yellow. You can use directly the orange. Actually, when the orange will mix up with the background, um, it will actually turn dark brown. I'm using the number 8 flat brush again. Uh, sorry everyone if I didn't mention it earlier. So here, just use the tip of your brush. You can actually use the smaller brush, number 1 liner brush for this one. realistic and I love it actually I really love the result for this day everyone and I, I also hope you love the result now the final touch will be I'm going to add um, a plate number but I'm gonna put my name in there so it's all up to you whatever names you can put there and I'm gonna, gonna put it uh, on videos uh, so it's all up to you to put it um, your way so here I'm gonna use the light brown, yellow and romber with some red and white also. I'm gonna use the yellow.
still wet so I'll leave it up to you even if you're going to put the plate number here so I think I'm gonna put it on offline so I'll just do some recap so I'm gonna put the uh, because I'm gonna let it dry first and it will actually take time so so here I'm gonna put the plate number and I'm gonna put my signature here in the plate number so instead of the number I'll just put my signature and I think I am done everyone so actually you can disregard the plate number if you want to put or not that's fine yeah I'm contented with the whole process here with the with the realistic look of old car old I'm not really this Maybe it's just a Volkswagen. I'm not really sure. So, I want to say thank you everyone for watching this video today. I hope you get something out of this. You can learn something by watching. And if you are painting, please follow them. Let's have fun painting. So, keep painting everyone and keep practicing. Okay, everyone. So, I want to say thank you for watching this video today. And I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.